Well, hello, boys and girls, ladies and gents, and members of the Big Red Food Army. It's your boy, Big Red, the General. I salute you. And we're on another episode of Fast Food Fat Man. And where we're at today, we actually have to go inside because they don't have a drive through But it's, it's almost like a donut shop, but it's not a donut shop. It's the Kalachi Factory. Uh, I've never heard of Kalachis until I moved to Texas. And I thought it was a it was a uh, Mexican thing, but come to find out, kolaches are actually originated in Poland. It's a Polish dish. It's uh, basically these little rolls stuffed with stuff. I mean, and they usually do them here in Texas for breakfast kind of thing. You know, you get eggs or egg and sausage, just that and the other. Let's get inside and you'll see what it's all about. All right, so there you go. There's the sign, Kalachi Factory. There's the front of the building. And like I said, this location doesn't have a drive-through, so we gotta go inside and eat. Hopefully there's no music playing. Let's knock this out. All right, so back in my car. The little kid behind the counter, he was very nice. He was gonna, he lowered the music a little bit, but I could still hear it. He was like, I could lower it even more. I'm like, don't, don't bother, I'll just go eat in my car. But he was nice enough to mark the different ones I got. I got a ranchero, a sausage, egg, and cheese. I got a Texas hot, which you can tell the difference. I got the, every month they do a flavor of the month. This one is uh, chorizo and egg, I think. And the other one is a barbecue beef. Got a couple napkins. All right, so this is going to be the sausage, egg, and cheese, or at least if you put them in a, and I got me a little milk. So let's open that milk up. Take a little swig, cause it's high. And they heat them up for you, but I mean, that, that's a kawachi. Looks like a little thing. They expensive though, I, they went up in price, I mean, I got five kolaches and a milk, and it was like 15 bucks. You see? It's just stuffed with egg, cheese, and snossage. But I mean, just to show you the hand to product comparison, and I mean, I know just the flavor of the month one was $3.19. And that one's supposedly a little bit bigger than these. But I got a friend that's Polish. And she was the one that told me that it's actually a Polish thing. And I, I, I looked up the, the history of it and this, that, and the other. And I believe it was a way for them to carry food. and preserve it a little longer by wrapping it in the bread. But yeah, I had no idea what the hell kolaches were until I moved to Texas. And that's why I thought it was a
a Hispanic thing. I mean, let's face it, Texas is Little Mexico. Yeah, at one point it was part of Mexico. So. Alright, now this one is the Ranchero, which is, if I'm not mistaken, it is, uh, and you can see where they, they stuff it on this. They must put it down this way, stuff it, fold it, and then bake it. Uh, this side, I mean, and you can see the fold marks and stuff, but uh, this is the Ranchero. It should be egg, sausage, and I want to say like a salsa. The ranch arrow is usually my favorite. But like here in Houston, these are everywhere. Usually they're in a strip mall, but most of the time they're on the edge of the strip mall, so they get a uh, little drive through. My ranch arrows usually have jalapenos in them, you can see. If you're looking for one with flavor, the ranch arrow is the way to go. But like I was saying, it's a franchise, the Kalachi Factory. But Kalachis are so popular around here that usually the donut shops, like not Dunkin' or Krispy Kreme or none of that crap, but like the mom and pop shops also make kolaches. I know. They don't stay open long. They open at like 6 in the morning and they open at 2. So they only open for eight hours. I'm looking at that door right now. And it says uh, Sunday 7 to, 7 to 2. I think if they... Uh, I think if they did like some lunchtime kolaches. I think one of these with red beans and rice in it would be freaking amazing. This is the Texas Hot. Basically, it's a sausage with jalapenos in the sausage. It's stuffed. It's a, like a hot dog slash sausage with uh, cheese and jalapenos in the sausage. I mean, I could have made a review one off of each one of these, but I figured I'd just wrap it all up in one. And like you saw, I had the sausage and sausage, egg, and cheese. They make ham, egg, and cheese, bacon, egg, and cheese. They make the regular, the Polish sausage, plain without cheese and jalapenos. This sausage slash hot dog is extremely juicy.
I mean, I got a late start today. I had to go to a comic shop. It's already 11 o'clock. I'm just now eating breakfast. But look at that cheese game in there. You see it? How they get the cheese in the hot dog, I don't know. But I'm sure glad they do. When I was working, that's when I got introduced to kolaches. One of the sales reps brought a couple dozen of them. Now let me see if I could tell the difference. He said one of these was going to be bigger than the other. Yeah, okay, so this is the flavor of the month. This is the chorizo. He said it's kind of spicy. We'll find out. It's got a little kick to it. But not to the point where it's, my biscuits are burning, you know? No, I ain't that kind of spicy. So, very flavorful spicy. The only problem I find with kolaches is, it's a lot of bread to eat. I'd like to watch how they make these. I'm sure there's a video on YouTube on how to make kolaches. But I want to make red beans and rice kolaches. I really do. That could be fun. Or jambalaya kolaches. me the, the Texas hot which is that sausage joint that I just got finished and the uh, ranchero are probably my two favorite I mean they also sell coffee and sodas like every other restaurant I mean, to go in there, it looks just like a like a donut shop. They got them on the wall with the slanted trays, and they're all sitting up there. Mm. Very nice working. All right, got one more of these to knock out. And just very little milk left. I should have got two milks. This is the uh, barbecue beef. All you can see is it's shredded beef with barbecue sauce. This one's probably my third favorite. Or I should say, it used to be my third favorite. This one's kind of weak. I don't know if they changed their barbecue sauce or. 
but it tastes different than I remember. I mean, it's been over a year, maybe year, maybe two years or longer since I've had kolaches. Hell, it's probably going on four or five years since I've had kolaches. But when I was working, I used to eat the fuck out of kolaches. So there you have it. I got these little baby napkins. How cute. Okay, so let me finish this milk. And we'll get this review knocked out. That's the second problem. So much bread, you get bread stuck in your teeth. All right. So, Kalachi Factory, let's rate them individually. Your Rancho, that's a five. Five flip flops of your Rancho. Your Texas Hot, that's a five. Your barbecued, your barbecue beef. I don't know what y'all did to it, but it's different. So that one's getting a 3.5. Your ham and ham, I mean, I'm sorry, your sausage, egg, and cheese. I'm going to give that a four. Your chorizo, I'm going to give a 3.5 to. It was kind of eh, middle of the road, a little above middle of the road. <coughs> so, with the, with that being said, overall, I'm going to have to give this whole experience a 4.5. So, there you have it. Over there is the subscription button. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you have not done so already. Next to that is the notification bell. Click that. You will be notified when I have new content. Over there, thumbs up, thumbs down, bow, hit me with one. It doesn't matter which. I'm a big boy. I can take it either way. We like these better. Uh. And down below, you got a uh, description box. Open it up. There's a description to this video along with <laughs> links to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as a link to my friend's uh, t-shirt page, uh, t-shirt website where you can purchase shirts that you've seen me wear, not the ones I actually wore, but the designs that I've wore, as well as other designs that you may not have seen, because I didn't get shirts made for them, just got them on the website. Uh, so you can get all, so they're either seen, on, as seen on YouTube, on the Big Red Show, or inspired by the Big Red Show. So there you have it. There's the link for that. There's also a link to this channel's homepage where you can find all my older content. And, you know, I got it separated by series so it's easier for you to find whichever series you like or what have you. Uh, I do that because life is hard enough. Watching this jackass eat on YouTube shouldn't make life any harder. And below that's a comment section. Type me out a comment. I'll type you out one back. Show me yours and I'll show you mine. And as always, tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma. Share this video with your family and friends because caring is sharing and sharing is caring. And, you know, show them how you get down with Big Red. Maybe they'd like to hop into Daytona and take a little spin around the block that we call the Big Red Show. And as always, from my first subscriber to my newest subscriber, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for hanging with your boy. I really do appreciate it. And this has been Big Red for another 
Fast Food Fat Man, and I'll see you next time at the drive-thru. I'm out. I got shit to do.